Dan Del Priori, a field representative with the Guam Federation of Teachers, says the officers are not wishing ill towards their fellow brothers in blue who were promoted. The concern and issue brought to the Civil Service Commission and filed in grievances, which IGFT helped them, um, is that the merit system for promotion and consideration of advancement in the classified system um, apparently was not followed. On December 4th, a hearing was held at the Civil Service Commission regarding a complaint filed by six officers from the Guam Police Department. The officers are calling to question the process and improper promotions, where one officer was promoted to lieutenant and five officers were promoted to police officer two. Evidently, management at Guam Police Department may have erred in not considering or how to handle these men who were in the police department but off island uh, at the time under military assignment mm -hmm. and so when they came back to fix the situation um, they promoted them but didn't do it by opening up the positions and giving everyone who should be eligible a chance to compete. A unanimous vote was made to allow for a post audit investigation. Post audit is looking at the promotion process and were things done properly. And when the commission staff reported to the full commission, um, they recommended a complete investigation because at least on the face of it, it looked like the proper procedures for consideration of promotion of all who may be eligible was not done. He says that when the officers initially came and expressed their concerns, he prepared and filed with GPD a Freedom of Information Request Act to find out what was done to process these promotions. And based on responses provided by GPD, these were not vacancies that were readily open. Um, for example, in the police lieutenant position, um, we had submitted to the Civil Service Commission and the committees uh, a letter from former DOA Director Christine Belletto indicating that the promotion slots had been filled and as far as we could ascertain from the police members no lieutenants had resigned, had died, had retired. According to a post audit staff assessment report, the process in which the officers were promoted violated the merit promotion rule of five eligible candidates to compete for the position to ensure the best person is selected, which is stated in DOA's rules and regulations. Those people who had been off island in the military were the ones who were promoted and others who should have been um, eligible were not made eligible when the promotion process uh, ended. Officers are requesting the promotions be rescinded and open for competition in accordance with the merit system, rules, and regulations. You know, these individual police officers are seeking nothing more than the opportunity to be considered for advancement or promotion, which, you know, one, affects your daily pay consideration, and two, when you go to retire, it's based on your three highest levels, um, the average. According to Del Priori, the post-audit investigation should be completed between 30 to 60 days. You know, the idea is just to have the system operate like it should. You know, hey, I've been with the department 30 years and I'm a sergeant and I've done good. You know, you, there's a lieutenant position available. You know, I should have been given the opportunity to compete. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Goncharfres.